What have we here? I'm Jason, welcome to Mystery Box episode 25, where one of you out there challenges me with a mysterious box of materials that I have to make something out of. So let me ask you this, if someone sent you a 12 pound box of bicycle parts, what would you make out of it? Octopi, I think they have a, uh, they have a slit. I need to pull up a, an image. There it is. See those? That is the eyes of an octopus. I've got these knockouts from an iron worker that I could take and I could use an angle grinder to cut a slit. I kind of like that. It's going, almost going to be a caricature of, a, of an octopus. Not an actual octopus, but a, a caricature of one. The eyes, man. The eyes are on any work of art. The eyes and the hands are where it's at. If you get the eyes and the hands right, you can get away with a lot of stuff. If you don't get the eyes and the hands right, uh, I think it's because people really know what eyes look like. I know they're a little forward facing for a regular octopus. I think their eyes are off to the side of their head, but I thought it would be a, you know, this is like I said, a caricature of an actual octopus. 
Now we need to finish this sculpture. Oh, the back side is bald spot. I thought about putting something like that or maybe using, I have a spoon, the back of a spoon and sort of bending it and welding it. You know, I think I like the spoon the best. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Turn my voltage down so I don't burn through because this is thin stuff here. I quite like that, that'll work. Yeah, I think the gear set's gonna be coral as well. I just haven't decided what looks more coral, coral-like. That's not bad, having it, that's sort of reminiscent of coral. Oh, maybe I could weld some coral polyps off of, uh, off the gear set. Maybe if I make sort of like, I could either do it like that and have, um, that be the base and then have coral polyps coming off of it and I could do two of them maybe. One for the front. That's not a bad idea. That should be plenty. Make some little sea fans out of that. Have any of you ever tried to weld cable before? Braided, braided cable? So you want you want the weld to, the puddle to rise up and contact the cable. If you start anywhere near the cable, the cable will completely just, you know, blow apart on you. There we go. Now I can open that up. Like that. And you have yourself a little underwater flower, sort of like, well, like a sea fan or something like that. I'll work my way around and do several of those, and then I'll do a, uh, I'll do some bigger ones out of out of TIG filler rod. So this will be our little sea mount with our sea fans. Happy little trees, right? What would Mr. Mr. Ross say? Happy little, happy little underwater trees. He needs a friend. This one's gonna be a baby. It hasn't been around a very long time. He's short. All the other sea fans pick on him. Cause he's so short. Call him Stubbs. Stubbs the sea fan. Short round. This cable, <laughs> I picked it up on the side of the road here in my uh, community. Someone had thrown away a uh, garage door opener and I grabbed it. I grabbed the parts off it. I cut the chain and I cut all the cable off of it. This is back before the mystery box series and I was starving for parts. So any place I could find parts, I'd grab them. Even the side of the road. I mean, hell, if they're gonna go to the trash and I can recycle this cable into something, into, into sea fans, why not, right? I mean, who would have thought I bet that person that threw that garage door away would not know that <clears throat> parts of it would be turned into sculptures for, God, years. I've had this cable up in this bin forever, and I've used it on lots of different sculptures. All right. I think I've got, uh, this is 045 rod, and I'm using 030 welding wire, and then this is, this might be 16th. I think this is 16th, and this is 8th. I think. Let's see if I got my voltage right. Yeah. Let's work our way down. The table, the table acts as a heat sink for this. You know what? This is still hot. 
Look at the glove smoking. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll let that guy cool down before I put more on him. And then I'll, I'll plant them. Okay. We're, we're getting down to the, the finish here, down to the brass tacks on this. This is wasabi, the seven-legged octopus. So if you have seven legs, are you still an octopus? That's the question. That's the question. The story behind how wasabi here ended up with seven legs is not that I ran out of chain or that I ran out of space. The story is that wasabi is an infamous crab pot thief. All along the eastern seaboard, crab fishermen curse his name as he opens up their crab pots, dines on their delectable crab harvest, and then uh, escapes into the murky waters that is the uh, eastern coast. But one time he was in the middle of opening a crab pot and uh, the crab boat yanked that pot up to the surface and he did not have time to get one of his tentacles out of the mechanism of the crab pot and it was yanked off of his body right here up to the surface with the crab pot so he lost one of his arms in his quest for food but he still has seven perfectly perfectly functioning articulating arms this is my first time Sculpting with a large amount of chain. In fact, the bulk of this sculpture is chain And it's quite a daunting task. This stuff's kind of like herding cats, you know it, You want it to go one way, but it wants to go the other way and when you're working on this arm This arm falls off the table and it's it's a mess, but I I'm really happy with how this turned out I did have to supply the steel ball for the shape of the head But it's covered by chain so you barely know that it's there and I supplied the rings to just give the legs a rounded and fuller appearance because I was concerned they would be more square or rectangular and flat if I did not put those rings on. But other than that, everything else came from, from the box. And then of course, every octopus needs a fishy friend. This is a little like seamount coral type thing. And uh, I, uh, one of the Twitch viewers requested that I make a fish. So I took some of the remaining box pieces and made this sort of underwater flying fish, you know, with the whatever, whatever this is. Another mystery box in the bag. If you're wondering how all of this works, one of you out there sends me a mysterious box of scraps. I open up said box on camera and then construct something like this out of it. And then I send the finished sculpture back to you as a thank you for making this YouTube series possible. I'm Jason. This is works by a hearse. This is Wasabi, the seven-armed octopus. We'll see all of you guys in the next one.